Hey, it's me. Um, let's see. It's two twelve. It's Monday, December first, two twelve a.m. I kind of slept all day, so I'm up really late, and I have to get up in like four hours. But I guess that's okay, because I don't have to work tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yep. Oh, I already told you that. I lost my job. So, I had a major meltdown yesterday. And I just, like, couldn't deal with it. I was... I just couldn't deal with it. I, yeah. I still can't deal with it, you know? I mean, it seems surreal to me that I might have most likely have to move pretty soon, so... Like, it's hard for me to even think about it. Especially, you know, I have to do it within the next... 10 days and that's going to be really hard. Anyway, I've been cutting down my antidepressants because they were making me feel like shit. However, um, they've also been, I finally cut them off completely and, you know, a couple days ago and I just start today was like the worst, I think. Um... I was feeling so sick. I couldn't get out of bed. I slept all day. I slept for, let's see, I slept from 10, maybe 11 p.m. last night to about 7 a.m. Um, and then I laid in bed all day and I just took naps throughout the day and the evening. And yeah, it was just terrible. I figured it was the last day that I probably will get to relax for a very long time, so it's uh, definitely not something that I'm looking forward to, but I don't really know what else to do. I have no choice. I want to get help from the housing authority. I have to get a job soon and, you know, I'm going to try to be a little bit picky because I don't want to be standing at an assembly line. I would like to do something like data entry. That'd be, you know, I'd be fine with that. I don't think I really want to go back to pizza now because, because that just, you know, like, what, then I have to make a, a new group of friends at a pizza place and all this BS, so it's just <coughs> retarded. I made a song that I think you'd like, so I'm gonna play it really quick. Turn this down a little bit. Kisses on the lips just coming home. She's 
down really hard last night I I literally wanted to just die I felt like nobody cared about me and it still seems that way because I mean I feel like I only have one person in the whole world that outside of my family of course you know and even my family's iffy but I only have one person outside of my family that really, honestly, is there for me. And that's John. And it's sad because it's like, you know, I tried to reach out to a few people this week. And one of them responded. After she told me, you know, like I didn't expect her to really want to hear from me and really want to talk to me because of everything. It, Steven's best friend Amanda, you know, and uh, the whole blowout thing that happened between me and Steven, but anyway, I um, didn't expect her to talk to me, really want to talk to me because, because she was intervening and telling me to leave him the fuck alone and all this stuff way back when, you know, a few months ago, and I kind of just, like, left it for a few months and then yeah but anyway she told me you know I don't remember how we got to talking um let me look in my well no I can't because my Facebook is shut off um I don't know, I messaged her, and I think, I'm sure it was me who messaged her, and uh, I don't remember what I said, how I initiated it, but I, maybe I apologized to her for everything, or, I have no idea, I can't remember, but we had a friendly conversation, and then she's like, oh, well, she's like, you message me anytime, I, you know, I like to hear from you, and I was like, really? Are you sure about that? And she's like, yeah. You know? I'm like, okay. Well. So. You know? So I didn't talk to her the very next day or the day after that. But I talked to her after Thanksgiving. Um, and I think it was like a couple days ago. And, you know, it was probably several days after I had talked to her the first time. And she was kind of standoffish. I was just like, hey, how's it going? And she's like, oh, good. I'm like, that's good. Uh, what are you up to? And she said she was playing ROM, which is uh, some video game. Some online video game. And uh, I can't remember what it stands for. But... Yeah, she said she was playing that, and I was like, oh, that's cool, what's that about, or what is that, and she told me what it stands for, and then basically, yeah, I mean, she wasn't very talkative after that. I was like, well, I just thought I'd say hi, um, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And then, yeah, that was very much it. I don't know. Just like, okay. 
well, you know, after my shitty Thanksgiving with my dad, well, without my dad anyway, you know, my dad decides to take off and go to California, and my mom decides to bitch me out the whole time. I've been through a lot, you know? I've been through a fucking lot in the past few months. I've, you know, lost my best friend from high school, lost my boyfriend that I was in love with right after that, lost my job that I thought I was going to get hired right after that because they told me that I was incompetent. Um, almost lost my apartment twice. Uh, got another job at a pizza place, then lost that job recently, so, because of a stupid mistake. You know, no warning. She didn't give me any warning. She didn't say if you do this one more time, I'm sorry, we're going to have to let you go. It was just, sorry, we're letting you go. Like, I was literally on the edge. Um, and then, you know, tried to reach out to Brendan, this guy that I met that, you know, he said that he wasn't interested in me more than a friend. You know, I was having a really shitty, hard time at the time. I took it out on him. I apologized to him. You know, I did some soul searching. I did my part to try to, you know, reconcile with everything. And, uh, he just totally, he told me that he wanted to try to be friends anyway, that he wanted to do the friend thing, that, you know, just don't do it again. And I was like, okay. So I expected to hear from him and never did. So finally I'm, I, uh, finally I contacted him and I said, hey, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I, you know, I thought about what you said, and I just wanted to thank you for everything that you told me to do, and that it really helped, and, you know, I'm feeling better now, and I really want to be less negative of a person and all that stuff, and he took, like, a day and a half to respond, and all he said was, uh, I appreciate that, thanks. You know, like, I'm trying to reach out to this person, and He's being a complete dick. So then I called him. So then I waited like another week or so. And then I called him and I was like, hey, I just, hey, how's your uh, week going? Uh, what are your plans for Thanksgiving? And, you know, this was several days ago. I think it was like five days ago. And uh, he's like, he answered the phone. He's like, who is this? Like, I guess he deleted my number out of his phone. I'm like, Really? Wow, okay. Well, anyway, I was sounding, I was tr putting on my happiest, you know, bullshit fucking smile tone. You know, my happiest bullshit tone. And trying to talk to him, you know. And he was just like, He's like, yeah, um, I'll call you later. I do want to talk, but uh, I'm going to have to call you later because I'm driving or blah -de blah -de blah or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, that's fine. No problem. He never called me back. You know, it was five days. And finally I was just like, you know, I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm just going to put an end to it. So, so I did. Basically, I just said, well, um, where's my phone? Okay, that was kind of mean, but it wasn't that mean. It wasn't as mean as I was before. It is so, I, you know, like I was expecting a response at first, but then he never gave me one. So I was like, so just curious. I guess it's pretty obvious to me, but I thought. I remember you saying you wanted to try the friends thing, but I haven't heard from you well, really, at all. Even though I've reconciled and tried to reach out to you. This is probably a rhetorical question, but I'm assuming. 
you are going back on your word and don't want anything to do with me. I mean, I know it was kind of rude, but, I mean, I was kind of pissed. I was like, if so, it's all good. I understand. Well, I wish you the best. Would have been nice, though, if you could have been honest with me. I did, I did take your words into consideration and put them to good use, but it's all good. I guess people suck anyway. <laughs> and it's obvious to me you don't believe in second chances, even though you said you would give one, so I'll leave it at that. I'm not mad, just disappointed. All right, I'm done now. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving and have a great Christmas and all that. Obviously, we aren't meant to be in each other's lives in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to walk away being the bigger person, knowing at least I did my part to try to change and put my half of the effort, even though it wasn't reciprocated. That is what is important anyway. So, yeah, that's what I said. Kind of pissed off. Never responded. I think I texted that at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so that was like 12 hours ago. You know, either he fell into a mind shaft or he just completely ignored my text. Wonder if I should call him or not. I'm gonna call him anyway. Fuck that. Obviously, a phone. I guess he's calling back. Hello? No. I thought, I don't know. I thought you stayed up late, so... Um, did you get my text? Okay, I wasn't saying we should date. I just what? thought... I said I wasn't saying we should date. I know. I know you're not saying that. I'm, I'm, I, I get that. I, I'm not thinking that you are implying that. I just say I'm dealing, sorry, I'm dealing with everything else on my plate. And, you know, it's like, you know, when you called me and explained all that stuff to me and I had to go to class? Mm-hmm. I was being honest. I had to go to class. And then that night, my phone died. I couldn't get to a charger. And then the last, like, ever since then, I've just been, like, hella busy with shit. In fact, this weekend, I have just been kind of doing my own thing, keeping to myself, not really talking to anybody. Like, I completely deleted my account and everything. Okay. Like, go, go my profile up. It's not there anymore. I completely deleted it. I thought you deleted it a while ago. But uh, I was going to, I guess, I don't know, but I, I finally did, though. Oh. And I, you 
know, I just, I gotta be honest, I, I don't know you that well, and I, I, I didn't mind, like, you know, you know, giving you advice and helping you out before and whatnot, but, like, I'm not your shrink. And I, every, you know, every time we've talked, you've been wanting to, like, talk about your problems with me, and I'm normally, like, I'm totally down to listen, but right now, I'm just in a pace in my life where I just need to be selfish for me. I spent the last two years being selfish, being, like, not selfish, and, you know, and I need to put me first right now. So I've been having to do that to a lot of people. I had to do that to my brother tonight, or earlier, like, not tonight anymore, but... It, Hey, oh, my brother's a druggie. Remember the tweaky one I told you about? Mm-hmm. And I had to tell him, like, no, I'm not going to come pick you up. It's your problem you're stuck in the freezing cold. And it's like, I don't want to deal with him. Do I feel guilty? Yeah, I do. He's my brother. I love him. But at the same time, I have to be selfish for me right now. And right now... That's putting myself in a situation where that's energy I don't want to deal with, I don't want to expend, nor do I want to have to deal with somebody else's crap right now. And right now, you know, you have a lot of energy that you're still dealing with, and it's intense, and it's more than I really have the energy to, like, you know. I'm, I'm really going on as it is. I'm, I'm mm. going day by day by day. Okay. Well, remember, remember when you flipped out on me that when you went like kind of crazy over me before I kind of gave you the talking to? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like that was me being really patient, and I'm 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 happy. I was happy to be patient. You know, I kind of set it at a fourth, but progressing, like having it continue, it just like. When, you know, you don't get something your way. It's like, I said we can be friends, and we can't be friends. But I have lots of friends that I don't talk with every single week. You know, I don't, I don't really make time for anybody right now. It's not, like, personal. Okay, well, it just seemed like, I mean, you could have just told me that, like, a while ago. You could have just said I have a lot of shit going on right now. I don't I have did. time to talk. Uh, I don't remember you telling me that. I remember you just telling me that. You had to go to class and that you definitely want to talk, but it would be later. And then, um, I just okay. Well, that, that I mean, that was true, but I mean, in general, before I told you originally, when I told you I wasn't interested, I got a lot of shit going on right now. You know, I, I don't have, make time for anybody, I don't, it's just, it's, I've just been doing, you know, I the last, uh, the last four months have been a transition period of my life. You know, it's mm -hmm. the last, oh my God, the last two months, after, like the two months after me and my ex broke up were hell for me. I don't want to, you know, I'm still recovering from that. Okay. I'm happy that you, you know, you're, you're getting shit worked out. That's awesome. And I'm sorry if, if my level of attentiveness is not what you need from a friend right now, but that's all I can really give you right now because right now I I just need to focus on me and make me better because how can I be there for others if I'm not, you know, taking care of myself first? Mm -hmm. And I have a tendency to, like, help people out even when I should be focusing on me, so I'm trying not to do that for once. I'm just doing what I need to do. Okay, I'm not even asking you for help or with anything, though. Like, I don't know where you got that from because, like, I wasn't even asking for advice on anything. Yes, you gave me advice way back when, but I was just giving you feedback on thanks for giving me that advice. I put it, I took it to heart, and I, you know, I was just telling you how it helped me out. That's all. Yeah, but I really then, haven't then told you called you. me when I was at school and you, and you started going into a whole bunch of, like, stuff from your past. And I'm just like, that really sucks, but I don't have the energy to invest in hearing all that right now. I just don't. So it's like, I, I don't have to dig and get it. You don't feel like, you know, like, I'm not interested. I don't care. I do care, but at the same time, I'm not just like, I'm just like, okay. It's like, I, I norm, I'd be the person who would just listen. But right now, I'm just like, you know what? I need to not do what I would normally do. I 
need to be a little selfish for me because it's naturally, of course I want to listen. I'm a caring, empathic person. That's my, like, that's my natural state. I'm just saying, you know, and it's like, we you know, when you're calling and tell me that, what do you expect me to say? Like, like, I don't want to deal with your crap. Leave me alone. That's not what I'm going to say. That'd be rude and that'd be mean and that's not how, what I'm trying to come across. I'm just saying, you know, it's like, this is a lot of, a lot of stuff like that you need to process and deal with and I don't have the energy right now to like be empathic about it. Okay. If I don't, if I don't have the energy to deal with my brother in the same car as me for five, for 10 minutes, I sure as hell don't have the energy to deal with somebody else's, you know, stuff. Like I said, I can be a friend. I just can't be a friend in that way right now because I'm still dealing with my shit and it's, overwhelming for me to listen to someone else's crap right now when not saying it's crap but it's being you know stuff when I get all my stuff on my plate already full as it is mm. and I don't like my foods mixing together it's gross like that I like my food separate like my mac and cheese and and you know and, and my like you know the stuff the, like my meat gets separated you mix it together and then it's just all yeah and chaos I'm just using a silly metaphor but I am also half asleep. So, do me a favor. If we're talking, you know, and you know I'm up, go for it. But please don't call me at 2 in the two and text me or call me at 2 in the morning unless you know I'm awake, please, because I like a dumbass to keep my phone on when I sleep. So, if something happens, people can get a hold of me. And I don't like getting woken up. All right. Did I answer your question? Yep. Like, you know, like, I don't know. And honestly, you know, maybe you should look at, like, the answers within you. Well, I wasn't. Like, honestly, I'm, like, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking, for to, looking within to find the answers. Because they're there. I just have to look. Mm-hmm. So rather than looking for me advice, look with it. Well, I was in a... Oh. I just... You you're know what I mean. Right. I know you're not looking for advice specifically. It's, it's a, I'm more meaning that metaphor and like on a broader scale. Like if you can encompass that to like a broader perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, so, like, if you want to talk, you know, give me a call sometime. I'll see you a text. But I just, you know, just please, like, if you don't hear from me for a while, it's not because I'm trying to blow you off. It's just because I have other shit on my plate. But honestly, talking to friends over text is, like, the last thing that I'm thinking about. Like, I honestly, I should be awake right now. I fell asleep. It's actually probably good that you called me, actually, because I need to I need to wake up and finish my math homework. I fell asleep on my couch doing my math homework. Um, I was pretty much finished. I it's not that really big a deal. I passed out, but still, I probably should pass, pass back out of my bed. But uh, so, like I said, you just you know have to realize that. I, I can't invest that much energy into somebody I barely know. I, I'm having a hard time investing that kind of energy into people that I've known my whole life right now. All right. Well, why don't we do this? <clears throat> I mean, I, it's obvious to me that I'm, like, bothering you, so why don't you just um, contact me whenever you feel like you have less on your plate. I don't want to be a burden to you, so. Uh, yeah. I mean, what, why do you, if, if, if there's, like, why do you want to talk to me so much? I mean, maybe I, maybe we shouldn't talk, I guess, because, I mean. No, I'm just asking, like, what is it, of, like, why do you desire to talk to me so much? It's not. It's not a criticism. It's. It's an honest question. Maybe you ask. I'm asking you, or you can ask yourself. I. I just. I don't know. 
I, I haven't really given you anything that's like I haven't really provided you anything that I could really see as like wanting you to keep talking to me. So I, I don't know, you know. Well, honestly, because you remind me of a friend of mine that I had that I don't really talk to anymore that doesn't live here. Um, he's also very, um, you know, into, like, the kinds of things that you are, so. That's why. Yeah, okay, well, that, that makes sense. I just, but, I just was I curious mean, because it's like, because, like, you know, it's like we, we hung out once and nothing happened. We didn't even, like, hug or kiss or even shake hands. So I just, I didn't, unless I don't remember it correctly. Do you remember it any differently? No. Nope. You remember it pretty much the same? Mm-hmm. So I just, like, you know, I just, you know, like I said, I, just, I don't want you to feel like I'm not trying to, like, lead you on and make sure I'm not giving misrepresentation. Yeah, and also, I'm just trying to make more friends, but, I mean, if you don't want to be friends with me, that's fine. You can just tell me, and I, I'll just leave you alone, so. Okay, well, look. You're obviously not listening to what I'm saying. So, I, I've explained it. That's not what I was saying, and I've explained it a couple times and such. And I feel like right now, after I've explained it numerous times, you're taking it and you're twisting it around and using it as a guilt trip when we may have made it very clear. That's not what I was saying, and you know that. So, please do not manipulate the situation and twist around to turn into a guilt trip. You know that's not what I'm saying, and you know that's not what I said. I'm not I'm trying. You out on your bullshit. Don't do that. It's annoying. It's childish. And you're you're you know if you want to be an adult, don't act like a child. Don't do oh, oh sorry woe is me. You know fine if you don't just tell me. It's like if I didn't want to be your friend, I'd say fuck off, leave me alone. But we haven't heard that conversation come from my mouth, have you? I'm still talking, so therefore I haven't told you to fuck off yet. So, logic dictates if I haven't told you to fuck off yet, okay. I wouldn't be ex I wouldn't be wasting my time explaining. Fuck you! I really don't even want to fucking talk to him. He's just being a dick. Did you hear that? Like, he's just completely going off on me and telling me, well, I don't have time to fucking talk. You know, it's like, I'm tired of fucking people like that. Fine, if you don't want to fucking do that to me, then... If you if you want to be like that towards me, then, then fuck you. I'm just, like, done. Go back to bed. I wish I knew how to fucking block his number. Because I... Really don't, like, I don't even care anymore. Anyway, yeah, the only person that's really been a true friend to me has been John. And that's about it, so. I broke down crying yesterday, and he was there, so. He actually pulled me out. He actually pulled me from the ledge, so. Why do you want to talk to me so much? Are you fucking serious? I'm trying to make new fucking friends, but I mean... Anyway. You heard that. I just hung up on him because I really didn't want to start going off on him again, so... I just was kind of like, you know what? I'm done with this conversation. I... Have a good night. Telling me that I'm being a fucking child. Okay, whatever, dude. You know, he yells at me like I'm a fucking child. Like I'm his daughter or something. It's like, don't fucking talk to me like I'm your daughter. I'm not your fucking daughter, dude. I'm a fucking human being. And then tell me, I barely know you. Why should I even talk to you? Why are you so interested? You know, it's like, because I'm trying to get to fucking know you.
Don't fucking matter anyway. So yeah, from now on, I'm really only going to talk to you. Um, like, a very limited number of people in my life right now. Valerie, James, and John. And that's it. I don't want to talk to anybody else. Nobody else is worthy of my time. And, and if you want to prove that you're worth my time, then prove it. But this guy, that guy on the fucking phone, didn't prove it. He proved that he was a j jackass, so fuck him. I don't really give a shit anymore. Let it call and like try to talk, have a decent conversation with him. Nope. Anyway, I'm going to bed now, so or I'm going to bed pretty soon. I better do that because it's 3 o'clock and I have to get up in 3 hours, so. Anyway, I'm done with this dickhead fucking asshole, so. I don't even want to talk to him anymore. I'm kind of done. If you're going to rip my head off every time I try to talk to you about something, then fuck you. I really don't care. Anyway. Good night. Talk to you later.